uh, in the back end that the method in the back end and also hold it it holds uh, the what you call uh, metadata so now all right now the two objects are ready here now let's connect to the back end so now the a connect method already is there in this connection object and we can use that to connect to uh, the backend system so this is the method which provides you the connection and with this we got the connection to the backend system so so now this this is not sufficient because uh, we need to call uh, the backend method or uh, the BAPI once the connection is established. So as of now we got the connection. So before getting uh, before calling the BAPI, uh, we need to make sure that uh, the required uh, variables are defined uh, to hold uh, the BAPI output. We need a table variable which actually holds uh, the output of the BAPI. BAPI return output uh, either a table or scalar parameters and structures like that. So BAPI, in current scenario, I'm using uh, uh, BAPI company code get list. This BAPI returns uh, a company code table. So let me define a table um, variable and also let me define a function variable because that variable is required. Uh, to check uh, or to execute uh, the BAPI. So let me define two more variables. So one is function so this is function and the other one is Initially, I can assign a null value. The other one is table. So it holds um, a table written by a BAPI. So that's uh, SAP is table. So this is a Java table. Now these two uh, we defined here. Now so next step is verification or verifying whether uh, the BAPI or the remote method that we are going to call is available uh, in the backend or not. So let's uh, create one main function and we pass the variable or we pass the parameter uh, the backend system we pass the parameter like the BAPI to verify. So the function will have a sub function and let's do the verification in the sub function because in some cases um, we may have more than one BAPI. So each time we need to verify the BAPI. So it's better if you have a function and a sub function. So you can verify all the BAPIs uh, with the piece of code. So let's verify the function or the remote method. So let me create a sub function here and say it takes BAPI uh, company code BAPI so this is a standard BAPI and I want to create a sub function so this create method create function so you can see this is a sub function and I rename it this variable to name so this will be passed to this sub function and it should return some data so let me say this is a public let me call this public and uh, it returns um, at up type the parameter type um, uh, this is of checko function this is of checko function
and so this is of type you can say function equal to okay and so what it returns here so let's verify uh, here now let's verify whether the backend method is available or not so to verify um, we have a class or interface called i function template so my m repository or the repository object has got a method uh, to verify uh, the backend method so it's get function template so it takes the parameter name and this name contains your actual baby so now so this ft contains a null if the met there is no method with that name otherwise it returns the function so let's return say if ft equals to null let's return this one otherwise return get function return this function So here, if ft equals null, it return null. Otherwise, it return the function ft dot get function. So let's go back and resume the coding from here. So so let's go back to the main function. So in our main function, so let's verify if the return parameter is null. If the written parameter function is null, then I print this pappy is not there in the backend system. is not found back in otherwise uh, execute so if it is not null you can execute the battery So execute now. We have a method called execute. So execute function. So now the BAPI returns, uh, once the BAPI is executed, it returns the output. Uh, so I need to make sure what parameters, what output it's, it's actually returning. Uh, is it a table or a structure or a scalar variables? So you need to make sure. So in our uh, case, this BAPI is uh, returning a company code table. So we already defined a table parameter to hold that one. So let's uh, get that table so take this table variable and this table variable how do you get this one from function so from function 